Hello and welcome to vlog number 144. This week I'm going to talk about shame in Parkinson's disease. I've noticed a fair number of posts on Facebook and Twitter on this subject in recent days and it made me think about the way that I view myself as a person with Parkinson's. I wouldn't regard myself as being ashamed of having Parkinson's but I admit to feeling self-conscious or embarrassed by it under certain circumstances. So I was interested to find out what the definition of shame was in this context. I found the following definition in a publication on PubMed entitled Shame in Parkinson's Disease. Shame is a self-conscious emotion marked by an intensively negative self-evaluation. It is exhibited by an individual upon realising that she, stroke he, has violated an important, usually social, norm. Shame can be a source of emotional distress leading to social withdrawal and depression with a significant impact on quality of life. So, although I wouldn't have said that I was ashamed of having PD, I recognise some of these traits in myself. I am intensely self-critical, berating myself for not being as physically capable as I once was, for having no motivation, for my speech issues, etc. I do find myself withdrawing from social interaction with others, and I would agree that, on occasion, my condition is emotionally distressing. So, given that definition, I would have to put my hands up and say, it's a fair cop, despite not regarding myself as being ashamed. I guess that the definitions of shame, self-consciousness and embarrassment have a lot in common. A survey by Parkinson's UK found that 40% of people with Parkinson's feel the need to hide their symptoms or lie about having the condition because of a belief that their symptoms are socially unacceptable, that people will feel awkward or embarrassed around them, or for fear of being judged. In many cases, people are delayed revealing their diagnosis to even their nearest and dearest, because of the fear of being stigmatised or thought of as weak, not knowing how to break the news, or simply being in denial about it. I can certainly identify with much of this. I was firmly in denial for the best part of two years, slowly coming to terms with it and breaking the news to friends and family by telling them they say that I've got Parkinson's, as if there was an element of doubt about it. I tried to avoid social situations and would keep my right hand, my most obviously shaky limb, jammed firmly in my trouser pocket. These days I'm far more relaxed about it because my tremor is far less obvious now that I've had my deep brain stimulation operation. Although I confess to avoiding situations that involve conversation for fear of being thought under the influence of alcohol due to my indistinct and slurred speech. And I can be a tad reclusive at times, only venturing out of the house to give the dog her daily walks. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.